Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, my name is Senza and today we will have a look at what that man gave the last server and open our presents. First things first, we will head over to the spawn area and for that we will need to go to my nether portal which is this one with a creeper in front, that's bad, that's really bad, this is why I don't like traveling in the night and it explodes okay that's fine that's fine ah okay i'm gonna fix the hole please son come quickly okay i think that was more or less the shape and now we will go directly into the nether and i know i don't have any gold but we have a secure path so that doesn't really matter so this is my portal, I've got an ender chest at the bottom, uh, just in case, um, we have in this lovely forest, and this is my, my stair leading to my nether tunnel, with a start of a design uh, that I made on stream. I'm still gathering resources for this one, so it's gonna be finished at some point, but not quite yet. Um, just go to the spawn, which is this portal, and we will go and collect our presents. Here we are at the wonderful spawn area, and we've got this made by Arctic, which is a wonderful looking Christmas tree with some blocks for pearls. I think that looks awesome. And, as I said, people already opened their boxes. But that's quite... quite good looking. Okay, let's go find mine now. I think that's... Uh, this one. Okay. Oh! Oh! Oh, I'm speechless. That's wow, that's some great goodies. And what's inside the box? Ooh. Nice request from oh god, oh crying obsidian and a dragon egg. Oh, that's so cool! Oh, man! That's awesome! I'm gonna take some screenshot of these. Oh my god, that's so freaking cool! And shroom lights, oh! Thank you to wherever, whoever that made this present. Oh, it looks so great. Oh, and I've got... <laughs> I even got a shortcut box. <laughs> oh, that's great. That's so great. Man. People on the server are awesome. And the dragon egg. That's, that's really great. I'm gonna close this. So you do it like everybody. Um, yeah, a massive thank you to, to the person that made this present. It looks, it, it's really good. So yeah, thank you, thank you very much. All right, so this is the spawn area map. So this is where we are and the Christmas tree. Uh, we've got the starter house, which is this one, some crops. I think that's the dock shelter from Wolfie, the temple to Luna. I think this is an arena, a PvP arena, but uh, not quite sure. We'll have to ask Gabe. And this is Paul's mini games area. Cool. And I assume this is the shopping mall. So, talking about the shopping mall, we will go and see my shop. Q 
Yep. Yeah. No sales. That makes sense. I have a few things to change the price. I mean, like the carrots and things. I'm gonna lower the price of everything. Okay, next we'll go back to my base and I'll make a small tool of the base, basically. Just show people what I've done since uh, I joined the server. Here we go, back from the nether. And if we go on the right, this way then, we've got a path that should lead to the portal, but it's not quite finished yet. Uh, I still have to make the area a bit better but we've got the idea uh, we still have the starter house that uh, hasn't been modified since since i've started basically we've got six laser beams uh, you can see the effects on the top right i've got all of these effects uh, which are quite interesting around the base and this is the trading hall so, um, this was a treasure map that I kept <laughs> from from the treasure hunt, basically. And we've got all my villagers, all the villagers on this side, except the two at the um, at the back. I have to change the armorer for another one that trade iron, and I've got a tools uh, weaponsmith. Uh, I think that's the name, which has not been cured yet. Yeah, weapon smith. But he has the iron trade, but all of the other have been turned into a zombie and then cured. And same for the clerics. I need a few more clerics for maybe. And I need to take care of these ones as well. They have not been cured yet, but that's that's on the list. That's gonna be one of my to-do in the next few weeks. So this is the trading hall, basically. Still a bit of work on the outside and on the inside to make it look a bit better, but yeah, I I rather get my resources together instead of making things beautiful for now. Uh, but that will come in the near future, I think, cause I'm pretty close to get all the thing I need for the villagers. So that that's a good point. This is my temporary storage with few bugs and things. This is the resources for the nether tunnel I told you before and I've got these shiny shroom lights that will go as well for this one. I have a few things to cure the villagers. I have a small mushroom farm, if I can say farm, because it's just mushroom that grows <laughs> in a tunnel just to make things easier for me to to gather some resources and yeah i have my from light farm <laughs> which is only a, a, a platform with a tree growing we've got creeper farm creeper and spider farm because i still need to put the carpets in the floors with the afk chamber which has a creeper face on the top um, and symmetric as well, too best, even if it's absolutely not needed. And we've got the looting. Which I missed. There we go, that's better. And yeah, that was from thing I missed, these three things. And a few strings from the spiders, but... Yeah, it mostly produces gunpowder, which is great. Because I do spam a lot. A lot of rockets. I've got some bamboo, as you can see. Sugar fame, sugar cane a bit all over the place. Um, I don't have any farm yet for these. I've got some sheep for myself around the start house. Which I'm currently gathering wool to make the carpets um, for something I will show you right after I've got my tall tree farm <laughs> which is fully natural farm I I'm making some natural farming 
no industrial farm on this one. And we've got my wheat field, which is not quite finished yet. Uh, yeah, nothing to deal with um, the, beat, the, the big wheater on the server, but that's just a nice area for me, just for decoration. And I don't plan to be a farmer, so I think that's enough for me. <laughs> All right, next thing, and um, probably one of the last, with the way, the underground, I need to replace this block. Um, I started to lay a few things for a um, nutomated melon and pumpkin farm that will replace this manual melon farm. As you can see, I have already removed everything from the bottom layer. And this is where the upper will go from the automated farm. So everything is more or less ready for this one. Hmm, I might have still water somewhere. I don't know where, but I have to find where it is. Because that's not needed. And I will run into some issue if I have water. That's going to be, yeah, a bit of an issue. And this is, this is the breeder. I still need to put an automatic pistons because yeah that looks a bit crap <laughs> to have it like that and replace the block manually. Um I've started to make some improvement to the area but not quite much. This is where the breeder is and where the villagers come from. So uh, it's logical gig boy design. I can put my minecart in this chest and I've got some hoppers that run all the way to a dispenser. When I click the button, a villager goes out. Uh, I can show you right right now. There we go. He goes up. One shot by the zombie. That's great. And if I come to this side, I can put some stations. Karim, of course, try to get some trade. This is a uh, killing chamber. I can switch to whatever I want. I can load him to go to the trading hall. And why do I have this setup? Just because when I do cure my villager at the top, I put them by three. So I send three villagers. I try to put one at the end of this, one somewhere in the middle, and one on this side. And this way, with the splash potion, I can cure three at the same time. So that costs less in potion, basically. So yeah, that's great. And this is my mushroom farm. It pr it's producing, which is great. And last thing I think for this server, yeah, that's the last one, which is my own iron farm. I'm currently working on lightning, on lightning at the bottom, and I will put carpets all over the place, on top of everything. But yeah, this is. Oh yeah, I also have uh, an automated sorting system for the <laughs> for the iron. I've got two for the puppies that are sent into bone meal, and I already got a few puppies. Uh, this one are <laughs> not from the farm. Don't worry, I just put them in, in this chest because I know there's puppies in there, so that makes sense. Um, I was just f filling around with a few stuff and. Yeah, I I didn't fail to go back to the storage to put the floor into his chest, so yeah. Oh no, I have one more thing <laughs> that I made uh, yesterday. So this is my super smelter. There we go, uh, Il Mango design. It's producing a bunch of things. And I have got charcoal. Yeah, quite a lot of charcoal, so great design. That looks pretty cool. I will put a link in the descriptions of all the design I use if you want to reproduce. Um, this is inspired by Iscar85. 
an army craft converter, so uh, I'm gonna try to find back the, the episode of Iskalit 5, I will put uh, also a link in the description. Um, and yeah, I think that's about it for the, the tour of this server, at least for my things. I'm not gonna show every people's place, cause yeah, I think Gabe's do that on the stream, so I will also put a link to Gabe's streams, uh, Twitch channel, I mean, in the description. So if you want to check our channel, um, make sure to go ahead and give it a follow. And that's gonna be it for Gabe's last server tour. I hope that you've enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more of my videos. I do post um, Let's Plays episode every Saturday. Starting from next week, I will go back to my normal schedule, which is Monday live stream on the evening for the Europe, uh, traveling through the nether on the nether edge, Tuesday and Thursday live from this server, this wonderful server with wonderful people, and on my YouTube channel on Saturday, as I said, my Let's Play episode. Thanks for watching, I'm gonna see you in the next one, guys. Bye!